It's April Fool's Day, mm -hmm. and we thought we'd try and learn some cool magic tricks to celebrate the day. Here to teach us is the amazing Bibic from the Chicago Yay. Magic Lab. Yes, Yay. good morning, everyone. Great to see you. Great to see you, too. Yes, indeed. What have you brought for us? Well, I brought some great mysteries of magic. In fact, I call this the floating magic wand. Watch carefully. It floats in the air. Isn't Ooh. that a, Can you see that? Wow. That is amazing. Isn't it? It's incredible. Isn't it? yeah. 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 Is that camera still on? I feel like I could do that. <laughs> well, I have, uh, I have to admit, I can't do my entire show for you this evening. This morning because okay. uh, well time naturally but uh, sadly I hurt myself recently oh. I tripped and I fell and I hurt my wrist and I don't know what you know about magic it requires a great deal of secret hand movement sleight yes. of hand and I hurt my wrist I'm not able to do some of the things I used to be able to do I mean there's a little clicking sound I'm not even sure if you can hear this or not it's okay when I go like this but when I go like this listen I know. <laughs> that doesn't seem right, does it? That is not right. I don't know. You know, I'm not a doctor, but I think that could be a bad case of plastic cup under the uh, arm, don't you? Uh, <laughs> I fooled you. <laughs> well, that's the, uh, that's the objective. Really that's the goal of a magician, to fool your senses. Yes. That time I fooled your sense of hearing, that's very difficult to do. Now I'd like to fool your sense of smell. Here, okay. pull my finger. No, don't do that. No. <laughs> Instead, before I do any more magic, I have to see how closely you're paying attention. For that, I developed this Bebek the Magician's Vision Test. Okay. It's a strange-looking handkerchief. Can you see the strange-looking handkerchief? Yes. yes. If so, you've passed the first part of the Woo! quiz. Now, there are large black and white lines on the handkerchief. Do you see the large black and white lines on the handkerchief? Yes. yes. If you said yes, you've passed the second part okay. of the quiz. All right. Now, the important question is, are the lines going up and down or side to side? Uh, side to side. Exactly. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm, that's strange. Hmm. Huh. You know what? <laughs> I forget. Which way they, were they going before? Do you remember? Uh, well, it started remember. Up, up and vertical. Up and down? Or okay. What, what up, do they do now? Up and down? Up and down. Up and down. Now vertical. Okay, perfect. Good. That's a... Hey, That's strange. Wait a minute. Well, it is a silk handkerchief. Do you know where silk handkerchiefs come from? No. Neiman Marcus. <laughs> they come from silkworms. And do you know if you tie a worm into a knot, it can untie itself? Did you know that? No. no. Even after it's made into a silk cloth. Ready? Watch the knot. Say go. Okay. Go. And it's gone. Oh. It's fast, isn't it? Was that too wow. fast? Yeah, that All right, I'm trying a little bit slower then. Here we go. A little okay. bit slower. How does that sound? Here we go. Say go slowly. Go, go slowly. slowly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part is, Amy, you get to examine the handkerchief okay. yourself. Okay. Psych. All right. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's not giving away you any tricks. You have to tricks. look at my trick handkerchief now, can you? Certainly not. <laughs> Do you happen to have a deck of cards, by any chance? I no. left it at home oh, today. Oh, that's a shame. All <laughs> okay. right. Well, I'll use my. Uh, I don't know if I know anything about cards, but a deck of cards is about 450 these days. I found these. They're generic cards. I found them at the Jules. Uh -huh. The Jules? Yes. For those yes. folks who are from out of town, the Jules mm -hmm. is a grocery store. <laughs> it's plural. <laughs> anyway, I found these generic cards at the Jules, and they, they are very expensive because they save money on these cards. They don't put any pictures out. on the Ooh, backs, right? Wow. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Saves uh -huh. a lot of money. The problem is they don't put any pictures on the fronts of these cards. So that's a shame. That's so a shame. usually I can't I'll do some tricks, but I can't use these. So okay. well, yeah, I can tell you about the trick. Okay. All right. This is the initial sign for pick a card. Okay. Now, if you pick a card, you never know what it'll be, but it could be something like, I don't know, it could be, for example, the, uh, I don't know, it might be something oh. like the, uh, <laughs> it might be something like the Ace of Clubs. Okay. What? Now, All if right. you pick the Ace of Clubs, that's an easy card to find because that's the only one there is. Okay. Now, most cards have a picture design on the back, but generic cards are blank. Check it out. Okay. It's weird, isn't it? Well, very yeah. generic. Very generic. Yeah. But I discovered something about this deck of cards. Uh -huh. I figured out that if, if, I, uh, if I if I tap the cards against my fingertip like this, that does two things. First of all, it really hurts. But that's okay because <laughs> it puts it back on the deck. Wow. Which matches the front, which matches the card, uh -huh. which is weird because a minute ago when you looked at the card, it didn't have a back. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Now, if I really wanted to fool you, I'd have you both pick cards. You might get the Ace of Diamonds or the Four of Spades. Anyway, you'd look at your cards and memorize them, and then I'd mix them up with the rest <gasps> of the cards. Ooh. Then, believe it or not, there'd be a puff of smoke in my hands, and the card card that you selected would be underneath the tiny carpet right now. Lift that up, G. Is there a card under the tiny carpet? No. Not there? There's hmm. nothing there. Well, I can't do the trick for you. I'll have okay. these generic cards. They don't have okay. any faces or backs <gasps> on them. So, yeah. If I get some cards, I'll show you that trick, okay? That okay. is so right. cool. You have time for one more? Yes. Yeah. So one more little thing. Yeah. Okay. Every magician has to have one of these, and uh, I am no exception. Look at that. Oh, rabbit. Your pocket. Bunny rabbit. He's Look so at that. Cute. Boop, 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 boop. So cute. Looks like a peep. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Bunny. I don't have a lot of Bunny. material. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's not a lie, but it's soft. Feel it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, magicians are jerks, aren't they? Mm, yeah. All right, would you examine the bunny? I promise not to jit you again. Looks have great. You a great trick called sawing the lady in half. You've heard yeah, of that, haven't you? Yeah, very cute. Would you like to see that here this evening? Oh, yeah, G. Good. Saw would G. You mind Never mind. Oh. I'll cut the bunny in two instead. It's foam, so when I press down, see how it flattens out? Uh huh. I'll cut it in two. Oh, my gosh, Tom! Oh, oh, they multiply so quickly. Oh. Look at that. Boop, 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 boop. This is Pete and this is Zelda. Do you know how I tell them apart? How? Their names are different. This is Pete. <laughs> this is Zelda. Try to keep up. Okay. All right, now look. 
Oh, I'll peed in my left hand and Zelda in my right hand. Watch. Okay. You see it? Yeah. It disappears. Ooh. Naturally, it doesn't really disappear. It runs up my sleeve, across my shoulders, down my arm, and I catch it when you're not looking. Oh, wow. I know it's fast. I know. Oh. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll hold okay. on. Pete. Hey, would you hold on to Zelda? Yep. Mm -hmm. Squeeze it as hard as you can. Okay. Watch carefully the magic wand. Okay. Look at that. Gone wow. with the wand. Did your bunny okay. disappear too? Because that'd be cool. Oh, oh wow. That's neat. How'd you do that? Wow. Magician. You're a magician too? Gosh. Okay. Look, I'm working this gig. Go find your own gig. Right? <laughs> you have a gig. <laughs> Want to try it, G? Yeah, I'll sure. give you both bunnies. They'll both okay. go from your hand to mine. Won't okay. that be amazing? Okay. Oh, both Squeeze of them both as hard as you can. Give me my finger back. Put your other okay. hand on top. Okay. Both bunnies will now go from your hand to mine. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Okay, ready. There's one. Sing along if you know the words. Okay. Funny. You see it? Nope, not yet. Both of the bunnies are now in my hand. Let me check to be sure. Yeah, there they are. Now that's the easy part. The hard part is to make them go back. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is that not magic? That is amazing that magic. Is not we magic. love it. I think they're like, oh, yes! what in the world. What happened? Ooh, wow. A skunk. That's, not even a, that's a skunk. Wow, how'd you get in there, you little stinker? That? It's awesome. Vivek, oh, thank you so much. We wow. love having you here. Uh, more like information about the Chicago Magic Lounge right there. It is on North Park Street. Check out their website as well. We might have a little more coming up later on in the show. I so swear, he only gave me two bunnies. I, that's what I thought.